right. Um, do you want me to look up like what to do next? Just so. Nope. Didn't I say that was Batman's cave earlier? Forgot the cape. <laughs> Forgot Robin. <laughs> oh. All right. Welcome back to character select. That was <laughs> that was a thing. A thing that happens. I guess he crashed into the sea. I hope he has his bat shark repellent. All right, so we still don't know what we're doing. We we have some puzzles that we know of, but we don't know how to solve them yet. Wait until you get home before... All right, shush up. You snarky narrator, you. Can I go, like, anywhere in here? Can I, like, just walk into the swamp? Uh, it's bottomless, I believe. Nope. You feel the poisonous water. Okay, so it's Whoa. instantly poisonous it's water. Effect immediately. Interesting. And you within seconds. There you are. You wanted attention. You can just come here and get pets and bite me. Hello, cat. All right. I am looking up a quick hint for what to do next. Batman. Batman. Batman? Batman. I'm pretty sure I remember um, that. The, you are right about, like, the tree thing, in that you're supposed to, like, walk around until there's somebody in there, like, the smoke's coming out, because then you can go in there. Right, except that, um, eh. there, it, time does not pass until certain things have, uh, have occurred, so, that I know uh, for sure. The lemons in this tree are not yet ripe. What if I trade the dude lemons for the pumpkin? Mm, I feel like we have to do something with that merchant. Yeah. I don't think he's going to take your lamons. Maybe he'll take the qu coins. Yeah, I think if we show him the coins, that might help. Like, look, they're magical coins that, like, change color when you put them in water. It's like those weird sponge dinosaur toys that grow when you put them in water. I loved those as a kid. And then I got too impatient, and then I just left them in the water and walked away. They came back, and I was like, hey, they're big! And that was it. That's all they do. That's all they do. That's all they do. I think as a kid, that's like the definition of disappointment, is that's all they do. Pretty much. All right, how about I... Save it. Oh, it's a good attempt. Nope. <laughs> uh. There you go. He would discover too quickly that it is not real gold if you simply handed it to him. All right, throw it. At this horse is. Throw it in the. F Hold no. on. If this horse is only. You can't. You okay? So what were you saying? I was gonna say throw it in the fountain and see if you immediately lose points. The fool's gold again. Oh, you hold on. Not crystal clear water spark there also. So ah, he did grab them. Three coins in the fountain. We it's One. because we left the Let screen. Yeah. Grab that pump. I'm attempting to. Beep. Talk to him again? <laughs> hey, I stole your pumpkin. <laughs> Got him. In his haste, the merchant pockets the coins without even looking at them. It seems he didn't even realize that they were fake. The fool! Uh -oh, looks like he's heading back to his stand. 
Oh, we have to leave with it. Dave! Okay. <sighs> now we know. I was on my way out, and you're like, no. You must talk with him. The fools. Yeah, yeah. Three coins? What? I don't think it ever occurred to me to just tell him, hey, the coins are in the phone. Yay, we did it! We stole we saved... a pumpkin! Well, I mean, you can't really steal what's already stolen. Sure you can. If you take it without asking permission, whether it's owned by the person or they've stolen it, you have stolen it from them. The fact yeah. that you're correct, you're writing it wrong doesn't necessarily make it not theft. But I mean, can you steal it if it's not owned by them? Mm. Somebody tell me in the comments below what you think, because I don't know the answer. <laughs> Why do you not like your cat bed anymore? Go. Sorry, cat is in front of the computer screen at the moment. Cats don't like cat beds because that's where you want them to sleep. No, he was he used to sleep in there a lot. Now he doesn't. Maybe I need to wash it. Put that pumpkin back in that patch. Put the pumpkin on the ground. My baby. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. Thank you, um Graham. Thank you, Graham. Here, take this. Maybe this useless trinket of hair of this will be of some use to you. So it's a right for not enabling me to protect my kids. The pumpkin hands you a gold brooch with a beautiful blue sapphire. Huh. Okay. Put that on your chestal section. The color of the brooch clashes with your outfit. You better leave it off. Yeah, because fashion's the most important thing here. Indeed. Um, you can't. I'm wondering if that might protect us from the bat. It might. We can try that. Also, for what it's worth, Pumpkin Lady, there's no guarantee that the guy that took your kid ain't gonna just come back and take your kid again. Well, just saying. she only took the kid because she let him. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Scream at him in Brooklyn? I mean, who knows? She could shoot some pumpkin seeds at him. <laughs> Pumpkin Queen, you seed bullet. <laughs> All right. Cavelians. Oh. Bat shark repellent. No. Just repel. Bat shark repel. <laughs> to bat shark. <laughs> Uh, just walk up to it, I think. You can't. No, that didn't work. You saw black glow. How about? You didn't... There's no reason to use that with the bat symbol. What about the skulls? Uh -huh. It is a human skull with a radiant blue stone wedged into its eye socket. Huh. Wedge that other blue stone into that eye socket. That has no effect on the skull. That has... As you have no desire to risk... Hmm. He's way past talking... What about the other skull? Days. He's way past... Yeah, no skull. It is a human skull with large eye sockets. All right, shove it in there. As you have no desire to risk... That has no... Really? Uh, can you... Wait, use the hand. That doesn't need flattening. Okay, use the hand on the you birch. You would not want to smash the priceless pearl. The center stone nah. is smooth to the touch. The center... Also worth pointing out that we still have the... Nothing. The bowl. It is a simple clay bowl. Not sure what we could use that. Oh, wait. 
This is the We could use like, that on the This is the sword of the first king of Davin. Hmm. Huh. We could use the bowl on the pure spring water to water the tree nearby, maybe? I don't know what that maybe. would accomplish, but Damn it. Oh wait! The mermaid! Give her the brooch! Oh, yeah, it's, not something she, like that. it's not something she can get. Nope. Selfish first. All these chains of deals just to get married. Gugh. Makes me not want to date. If this is what it's like. The mermaid eyes the valuable for a moment, but does not appear overly interested in it. Hmm, really? How about... the bowl? The mermaid looks at your offering. You have no re- Oh well. God. Hmm. Well, let's try watering the tree. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to do. We can't do anything else in Kalima until we have the something that we can use to sign the the library card with. I mean, we could use her the librarian's blood. Technically true. Well, it's letting me do it. You fill the bowl with the fresh spring water. And it gives now we can, points. Now we can you bottle it use and sell it at exorbitant prices. Uh, once we start bottling air, that's when you know we're in a dystopia. Oh, wait, we've done that. Teehee. Wait, go back to the... Go north. Go north. See if maybe the... Oh, nope. Nothing. Knock on the door anyway? Or walk off the screen? You rap on the tree house. Yo, I'm rapping on your door because my name's King Graham. Something, something, something. I really like ham. <laughs> I mean, I like my ham. Uh... Is there anything more I can do for you? Some water? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now that you mention it, my baby is feeling a bit poorly. After all, living in a bowl ain't too good for your health, you know? No, I did not know that. What would make your Some baby feel better? Some fresh spring water? Fresh water, naturally. Of course. Hot damn You're lady. too sweet, though. In fact, the more bitter, the better. My children are very particular about what they drink. Oh, they want I mineral water. Uh, how's this? You pour water over the baby pumpkin. Very fresh, but not at all bitter. Oh, lemon! My children lemon. prefer a bitter flavor in their water. Isn't it bad for plants? Damn it, we have to go back and get... You might want... Yeah, we have to go back and get water now. You can't... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Alright, deal with your cat. I'm gonna I'll guide us through the forest here. Oh, he's just sitting there meowing at me. Oh wow, fucking I can't help you with that. Well anyway, why don't you fast forward to the water place? I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay. Oh, I can use a drink. Okay, we're back. So just to bring Tyler up to speed, I used the sword on the lemon, then I used the lemon on the water, and then I walked back. Now we're gonna use the lemon on the baby thing. Suck and it. I, and I have a drink now, and it's you made the right way this time. Water over the baby pumpkin. It seems to like that. Oh my, it's not bitter enough! Here, take this! Where do you keep getting this shit? The pumpkin reaches into her head and pulls out a candle, which she then hands to you. That <laughs> thing has been jammed in my head for as long as I can remember. I know it ain't much, 
But maybe you'll find some use for it. Thank you. Don't mention it. Besides, it's really hard for me to sleep with that thing lit up inside my head all night. That's one you throw it away earlier. Don't know. Alright, so we got a candle and what are we going to do with that? We lost the bowl, which means we're done with that, so that's good. Pound the candle with the hammer. That doesn't need fl God damn it. Alright, what do we have? We have... We have the inn. You get it. That we can't get in yet. Maybe we can get in it now. Yeah, maybe. Also. Escape skips walk? You push the bush. Yeah, so maybe like instead of walking all the way to yeah, so uh, it's like teleports you across the screen. Gotcha. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's be <laughs> Oh Jesus, don't do that a lot though. <laughs> I'm gonna feel <laughs> freaking schizophrenic. <laughs> The door is locked. The sun's position. Nope, still, still midday. midday. All right, so library. Wait, is there like a letter on the door here? There appears to be a sign. Yes. Ooh. Your status as king is marred only by the still lingering single tag. We could just call you Kingle. There appears to be a sign. Just move to the left your a bit. Status. Eh. The door is plain and has a mail slot. It also has a sign posted on it. You read it. Family of the deceased wishes to thank all who have expressed their condolences over the passing of their loved one. Frederick enjoyed life in literature and had an ever-present and sometimes wicked sense of humor. May his soul be at peace in the realm of the dead and may the its Lord judge him worthy of eternal happiness. So the only two members of the library are dead. Yep. Makes you wonder how the librarian still has a fucking job. Well, whatever. Let's go see if we can give her the quill. Or, let's see, can I just... Nothing happened. Can I then just, uh... That would do nothing useful. Can I stab the her with it? Nope. You wonder what is stored in these barrels, as the librarian appears not to be a connoisseur of alcohol. Is it dead bodies? Because <laughs> she's a about that evil. The clock sits against the wall. It seems to keep good time. The clock indicates that it is midday. Piles upon piles. Uh. You glance at the titles on this shelf. Remember the Triton, an autobiography from the ruler of the Mer people. Who? Grab that one. You glance at the titles on this shelf. Chronicles of the Brady Bunch. No, burn it. Interesting. This book has a warning label. Prolonged exposure <laughs> may cause irreparable damage to your perception of reality. Yeah, it sounds about right. You glance at the titles on this He's shelf. He's watched the Brady Bunch Revealing a lot. the truth about seeing unicorns and something about oneself in the process. <laughs> Future's History, the true story of Space Quest 12. <laughs> ah, it's, that's a Space Quest Not 4 really. joke. Uh. A rather plump and stern-looking woman is seated behind the desk. Every so often, she glances away and appears to lose her train of thought. The monotony of being a librarian must be getting to her. Apparently. Um, hmm. Give her a, a nice brooch. The librarian has no what about interest the in that. Flower. A little bit of flower gives some color in here. The librarian has no interest in that. What a bitch. What are you doing? I was just Don't! It's not just like, you know, pull rank and say, you know I'm a king, right? Well, you're not king of Kalima though. Here you're nobody. Piles upon well, I mean, that's like saying, like, you know, the Prime Minister of Japan coming to America and being like, well, you're just the Prime Minister of Japan. Who gives a shit who you are? Yeah. I mean, that's not how it works. No. I agree. <laughs> the farmers are deep in conversation. Ooh, talk to the merchant right. again. 
Hey, what happened to your pumpkin, dude? I was gonna buy Greetings it. Again, merchant. Yes, many greetings. Need you have now for my wares of great specialty? What wares do you sell, good merchant? Well, I wish you a pumpkin. Behold them. You look over the merchants. Where you seem to have well. I this. You appraise the. Oh, owl. we do need that comb. Oh, the comb is the mermaids. <laughs> That's what she wants. Let's give him the brooch for the, the comb. Good merchant, does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. What about the pearl? Excuse me, that doesn't. <clears throat> you have no re. What? You have. Nothing. How about a library card? Uh, what about his little advertisement thing? Good merchant, does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. Is this yours? Ah, keen eyes you have. Give For me the comb. A reward shall you receive. And that would be? The comb. The pleasure you will have in doing business with me. I hate you. Oh, we're gonna stab this guy, aren't we? Oh, at least he gets it out of our inventory. How about a flower? Good merchant, does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. Hold on. Did I not actually give this to him? You have no, no. reason to right. give that. All right, how about uh, this? Get stabbed in the face. Good merchant. Thanking you. How about the sword? Put him to the death. The punishment for. Oh, yeah, we've done that. I thought. No, I was. No. How about the hammer? Good merchant. Thanking you. Hmm. How about the net? Good merchant. Thanking you. How about the candle? Labra. Good merchant. Thanking you. And how about the feather? Good merchant. Thanking you. Well, crap. You. All right. Next time on well, character select. Can, yeah, maybe we can do business with him now. If to, say, oh, fuck me. Shell, what would it cost? A trifle would you expend seven golds? I fear that I did not bring any money. That's terrible preparation. I find in one who travels but with nothing to buy. I have things. two pearls. Talk to him mm. one more time. I still wish I had an owl to keep me company. That was on you. <laughs> Might you trade the shell comb for something? The merchant ponders over this for a moment. Of value, many things are. Of fancy, only one I have. And that is? Pearls. Ah, uh, okay, now we can do it. <sighs> I right. tried to get to and we'll, we'll, we'll do that next time on Character Select. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler, we gotta Yo. talk to more people, apparently. I guess.